Hi guys, today we will install VirtualBox on a computer, then download Windows 11 from the Microsoft website and eventually create a Windows 11 virtual machine. VirtualBox is a free virtual machine, and in order not to make the video too long, I will not dive into the description of this program, there is a lot of information on the internet about this program and now we will immediately proceed to the topic of my video. And so, we begin. Open the description of this video, then find the link to the virtual box download page and click on it. On this page you can download virtual box if your PC has Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Solaris installed. We are considering this using the example of Windows, and therefore I click, here. In addition to the virtual machine itself, you also need to download an extension pack. Click, here. And so, the files have loaded, now open the folder, Downloads, I run the VirtualBox installation file. Next. Next. Here we are shown which shortcuts will be created, but if you don't need any of them, you can uncheck, Next. In this window, the installer warns us that the internet will be disconnected during the installation, don't worry, it won't be long. Yes. Install. Uncheck the box and click Finish. To install the guest operating system, we now need the Windows 11 ISO file. If you already have such an ISO file, you can skip this point, as we will now download Windows 11 from the Microsoft website. Ok, now you need to open the Microsoft Media Creation Tool download page. To do this, go to your browser and search, download Windows 11, or just open the description of my video and click the direct link of the download page. The page of the Microsoft website has opened. Now click, here. And a special application has been downloaded to the computer, with which we will download the ISO file to the computer. And so, the files have loaded, now open the folder, Downloads. We launch the application by clicking, Here we accept the license. On this page, we see the settings for my computer, as determined by the media creation tool, but you can uncheck the box and change the default settings. Choose a language architecture for yourself. I will leave the English edition for the USA. Next. On the next page, you have the opportunity to select a USB drive or ISO file. Here just select the ISO file option, and click, Next. Then choose the location where you want to save the ISO file, I choose the folder, Downloads, click, Save, and wait for the download. Windows 11 ISO file upload is complete, click, Finish. And so, the Windows 11 ISO file has loaded, and I'm starting to create a virtual machine. I double-click on the virtual box shortcut. The program window opens. I click, New. Here you need to set the name of this guest OS. You can give it any name you want. I will simply call it Windows 11. Here is the path to the default virtual machine folder. You can specify a different location. I will leave the default. You should be aware that if the virtual machine folder is on the SSD, the guest OS will run noticeably faster than on the hard disk. Here you need to select the type of operating system. I am installing Windows 11, and therefore I select the type of Windows system. The version of Windows remains the same. Next. In this window, you need to select the amount of RAM that will be allocated to the guest system. Here you can see that my computer has 16 GB of RAM, if your PC has 8 GB of RAM or more, you can safely allocate half of the total RAM, I allocate 8 GB. Next. In this window, we create a virtual hard disk for the virtual machine. If this is your first time doing this, you need to create a new virtual hard disk. I click, Create. 
Here you need to specify the type of virtual disk. I'll leave the default, next. In this window, you need to specify the data storage format. I recommend leaving the first option, next. Here you need to select the size of the virtual hard disk. You can choose depending on the size of your real disk. I choose 50 gigabytes. I click, create. And so, the virtual machine is created, but we have not yet installed the guest operating system. Before installing we will go to the settings. Click, settings. These are the virtual machine settings. There are several tabs in each item. Now we will look at a few of them. Choose, system. Here are the RAM settings that we made during installation. Open the tab, processor. We can give several processor cores to the virtual machine. For this I move the engine to the border of green and yellow. Open the display tab. If your video memory is not in the maximum position, you can increase it to the maximum. Turn on 3D acceleration. Press, OK. And so, the virtual machine is configured. We proceed to install Windows 11. Click, Settings. Here we select, Storage. Here we can see all the media in the virtual machine. Here is the virtual disk we created earlier, I highlighted it. If you have a solid state SSD drive check the box here. The second media is an analog of an optical drive, you need to select it. Now you need to specify where the Windows ISO file is located. For this we click, here, and select, select disk file. Here you need to specify the folder where the ISO file is located. Now you need to click on it. Open. The ISO file is selected. Click, OK. Now let's make the last adjustment. Click, Settings. Select, System. This window shows the boot order of the virtual machine, which is analogous to the disk boot priority in the BIOS of the computer. You need to uncheck the floppy disk, and move the optical disk to the first position. Press, OK. If you have several machines in the future, before starting one of them, select the machine you need, and click, Start. We proceed to install Windows 11. The virtual machine window has opened, and now the entire installation process will proceed as usual, as if we are installing Windows 11 on a computer or laptop. I close the VM Manager window and close the auto capture message with my keyboard and mouse program. The install menu opens and I click, next. Click here, install now. I have a Windows digital license and after installation the computer will be activated automatically. So I click, I do not have a product key. Please note, here I choose Windows 11 Pro, because I previously had Windows 10 Pro installed. If you previously had Windows Home, install Windows 11 Home. Next. And now we see a message from the installer that it is impossible to install Windows 11 on my PC. But this is not the case, and now I will show you how to disable checking requirements for installing Windows 11. Press Shift key on your keyboard and F10. At the same time, the command line opens. At the command prompt, enter, reget it, and press enter. In this window, open the section key local machine then system then click setup then right click on it select key and name this directory lab config Now on the right, on an empty space, right click and select toward 32 bit value. Name it bypass TPM check. Then right click on the empty space again, select word, 32 bit, value. And name it, bypass RAM check.
Create another parameter in the same way. Name it. Bypass secure boot check. Now double click each parameter and set the value for all three parameters. 1. We close the registry, close the command prompt, click here, and we return to the previous page for all changes in the registry to take effect. Click next. And we see that now you can continue installing Windows 11 without problems. I accept the license agreement, next. Click here. Now, for Windows to work correctly, you need to create new partitions. For this, click new click apply okay the sections for windows are created and we can proceed with the installation next now you don't need to do anything and just wait for the installation process to finish The installation of Windows 11 began to complete, and now we see a cascade of appearance updates, a new window for selecting a region, select the US region and click, yes. In the next window for selecting the keyboard layout, leave the standard layout and click, yes. Skip. Here it is asked to select settings for personal use or for work, I select personal settings and click, next. To skip creating a Microsoft account and get a local account, click Sign in Options. Click here, Offline Account. In this window, we are again asked to get a Microsoft account, and if you want a Microsoft account, click Back. But now I need a local account, I click Skip for New. Here you can name your PC, or you can do it later. I like this name. In this window, you can create a password to protect your computer, I will do this later, I click, next. Here you need to adjust the privacy settings, I disable all options. It will speed up my computer. I click, next. Windows 11 downloads the latest updates and welcomes us. There is not much left, do not turn off your computer. Yes. I installed Windows 11. I hope your installation went well too. Now I need to look at the system configuration installed on my computer. I click the button, Settings. And here I open the section about the system. Now we see that I have installed the latest version of Windows 11. Now I will open the section, Accounts. Here we see that my Windows 11 is running a local account, the name of this account is Bond. James Bond. To close the Windows 11 virtual machine, I click, here. OK. To start the virtual machine, double-click the virtual box icon, Then click, Start, and the Windows 11 virtual machine will start. I hope what I told you was interesting and could help you. If you found it useful, please share my video with someone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. 
Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck.